Hi. In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the new Load Runner Enterprise release. First up, when creating a project from an existing project, you can now include monitors and analysis templates as part of the copied resources. When using a Kubernetes orchestrator with dockerized host images, you can update Kubernetes configuration settings. This includes Selecting the Kubernetes image pool policy Defining how Kubernetes containerized load generators are accessed And setting a timeout to get load balancer external IPs Updates were made to admin user roles and permissions the Roles and Permissions page was enhanced to include a new Admin Roles tab, which lists the predefined admin user roles. Tenant admin privileges were extended to include full permissions over the tenant's private load generators. And a new project admin role was added, with permissions to assign users to specific projects. Load Runner Enterprise REST APIs have been extended, to include user role assignments, in project and in user, REST APIs. Load Runner Enterprise now integrates with Prometheus. You can set up the Prometheus monitor, and view the collected data in the online and offline test results and in analysis graphs. You can now install and configure Load Runner Enterprise with user account control and data execution prevention enabled. Load Runner Enterprise offers a flexible usage based license called VUFDs, or Virtual User Flex Days. This lets you run a set number of VUSers, an unlimited number of times, within a 24 hour period. When running tests in percentage mode, you can now activate Smart V user allocation. This gives better load balancing for Windows load generators, based on CPU usage. The reports module is updated using the latest technologies, and includes the following enhancements. User changes are saved between sessions to the reporting summary. Underutilized resources are highlighted in the time slot usage report, so you can see which resources are not being used efficiently. And the VUDs usage reports were merged and renamed VUFDs. And finally, you can set the concurrent sessions login limit. This lets you set the maximum sessions per user, per application, and define the behavior when this limit is reached. Check out the Help Center to learn more and enjoy the new Load Runner Enterprise release.